Okay, other tool what I want to look, it's a gizmo. Gizmo tool is allowed to, for us to manipulate and select objects in our different 3D views. So by default, you notice camera, they have these arrows and we have the blue, green, red arrows, which is given us position from the camera. Any object when we start creating, it will have this gizmo tool applied as we enable it. By this tool, you can notice we can go ahead and select any of the axes and move this object. We can move, if I select, for example, up and down blue, if I go left and right, it doesn't move, it just only move in this ax if I select it. However, if I'm going and select like middle area, you can also right here two axes is enabled. So it's meaning I can move this object just in this perspective. So X and Y, for example, right here, I cannot move up and down. You can look in the front one, see it does not move up and down, it just only move in a sideways. So if I go into this view, obviously I can move left, right, up and down, but I cannot even move in a Z far away. So this is kind of adjusting. Also, let's go come closer. You'll notice beside that we have an additional rotation tool. Okay, so you can go and you can rotate your object. For example, we can go ahead and rotate. If you want to rotate with a lock, you can always hold down shift. And in this case, it's kind of will lock with a specific degrees. How many degree of rotation? We can always go inside the file options and inside units in coordinates, you can specify what units and how much on a um, position you want to do this. Okay, also this is kind of universal. It's apply for us. We can scale, we can shrink, skew in different areas that also allowed us to rotate. Beside that, we have a specific tool. If, for example, you have a hard time to rotate, you can always select from world browser. For example, if it's on top and we maybe have it a um, bunch of different ones object. So I will have a hard time to select my sphere. So I always can go in my um, object or world browser, select sphere from there. And if I have it again a hard time to rotate, I can always click just on rotate gizmo, which is switch does not allow me to kind of move, but it's allowed me click on those axes and rotate the object in the way I want it. So for example, right here, you can see, I can rotate, preview degrees and other things. They also same applied in next where we have the, our kind of transform, uh, transmorph type. So we can skew specific object move it and you notice again you still have it your kind of rotation tools scale and moving capability in some cases so it will provide to some but it will help you um, to do some scaling and other things on this in many cases I found out for me just universal first tool will work just fine so I can do a preview all of this created from one tool but just know right here you have it options to switch on different you also have it, how orientated is your um, gizmo. So currently right now in the view, you can see it's go straight forward, up and side. We can always switch to the pen, local, global and view view. It will help you when you're inside the camera. And for example, you want to move left and right related to this view so you can select V on this case is go will horizontal only against view, even your camera may be skew or other things. Again, in many cases, global will work just fine. So when you use a transformer, maybe and your object is readjust. So you maybe want to switch to the local position, not to the global. Again, this is just overview of the gizmo tool. When we go more inside the um, working with a scenery, set up everything, you will notice that um, you can adjust your gizmo and get more used to this. But overall, it's a very simple tool which allows us move and modify our object.